I think we, we must be clear for that, you see. The important point concerning the endocrine activity of the adipose tissue for me, for the moment with uh, the, the information we have, it's leptin and adiponectin, two real hormones acting at the distance, you see, of the site of production. And as you know, leptin uh, is a sort of, could have some kind of pro-inflammatory effects in addition to the regulation of food intake, etc. of olinum. And adiponectin has a role, you see, as an anti-inflammatory agent and an agent which is stimulating, you see, the utilization of substrates by, and especially, very nice action on the musk, very nice action on the prevention of atherosclerosis. So I think these hormones are very important. Unfortunately, as you know, when you're getting fat, leptin is increasing, and maybe we can face some nasty effects of leptin. And unfortunately, on the other side, the beneficial compound is going down. So the big challenge will probably be limit the bad one and promote, amplify the production of a beneficiary. So for me, the, these are the two major elements. After that, you have a lot of secretion from the adipocyte, but we have to understand the role of all the other factors. There are at least 50 different. So, well, some of them have a local paracrine efficacy, etc. But for me, the important products of the adipocyte are leptin, adiponectin, and never forget the free fatty acids.